talking yesterday that kind of your off-season message was, you know, you had an identity last year, basically you throw that out. Like, yes. You don't build on that, you start over entirely. I guess from a big picture perspective, why is that? Why can't you just build on what you had last year? Why do you have to start over? Well, I think we're definitely building on the habits. We're definitely building on all the things that it takes to be successful. What we're talking about is a different collection of players and where we are this year relative to who those playmakers are going to be, both sides of the ball, that's the identity that we're talking about. So we're, we're, not, we're not losing all of the things that we've built over the last three years. That's in place. I think I said that on my opening press conference. That's in place. That's the foundation. <clears throat> This is more about the 2013 team, more so than it is the program. That's, that's the difference between the two. Brian, with Everett having a little bit more command of the offense now, do you want to play more at tempo, or, or is that kind of in your past as far as a play caller? No, that's not okay. in my past. That would be in my future. Okay. <laughs> we definitely would love to to have the ability to dictate tempo. It takes so many things out of play. I mean, look at the Alabama situation. You know, if you're playing fast there, you're eliminating a lot of pressures because um, the ball's coming out so quick, you're moving quickly. Uh, so we're deficient in areas offensively uh, last year. Uh, and, and one of them was our inability to play fast. So that is definitely a, um, a part of where we want to go. And do you feel like you're going to get there this spring? Oh yeah, we will be there, without a doubt. To kind of follow up on that, you had a major priority last year to really diminish the turnovers, which were so crucial in 2011. And Everett only throws six interceptions as a sophomore. You really feel at the history. There's 17-18 by a sophomore quarterback here. Where is there a trade-off here where maybe you might have to take more chances to expand the offense, but maybe the higher risk creates higher reward. How, how do you balance all of that? No, I think, you know, the more aggressive that you are, um, if, if you're fundamentally doing the things that we're teaching, it doesn't put you at a higher risk of throwing an interception. Um, I think playing faster even decreases that because you're going to have guys that are going to be running wide open that, that, that are not even defended. So. I don't think that accelerating the offense puts us at a higher risk of interception. I would say that if we're really doing it the right way, uh, we're going to get some easier throws along the way than slowing it down, letting the defense set, being a little bit predictable in some of the things you're doing. We want to be much more unpredictable offensively. I think that's going to help us.